Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you all for clicking onto this video and welcome, welcome back. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs. I'm coming to you, ladies and gentlemen, today to show you how to make a pair of African print post earrings. And here are the items that you will need to achieve this look. This is, uh, I'm not going to say the very first. Yeah, this is pretty much the first time that I have done a video where you don't need any wire cutters around those pliers. This is going to be something really easy and simple to make and create, okay? So you're going to need some E6000. And I'm going to go over everything and where I got it. I got this turquoise gloss paint from... Walmart. You're going to need a paintbrush, Airlines Tacky Glue. You can find this stuff right here, this little container at the Dollar Tree, and you'll have it for a while depending on what you want to be using it on. You're going to need your choice of fabric. This is my choice of fabric and that I have already traced using my Sharpie, and I cut it out with my scissors. You are also going to need a post you're going to need two posts for your earrings. You're going to need some assorted uh, sizes jewels. I got these also from Walmart. You're also going to need your wood pieces. Now, I did a video uh, about these wood pieces. These are, and I'm going to show you. These are the wooden tags. The big ones are the wooden tags. I got these from Family Dollar. You get 24 pieces. Okay. And this piece I got from Dollar General and the Wood Classic Shapes. That's the circle that I'm going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to paint our wood piece. And this is a, this is a beautiful blue, y'all. And you're going to paint the whole piece, front and back. Once you paint the whole piece, front and back, then you place it off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and get into the second part of this. So I'm going to paint this, put it to the side, and then I'll be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so while we are waiting for our piece to dry, I took some Aileen's glue and I just put it on here. And I'm going to go ahead and add my pieces to my wood piece. Now, I have already, as you can see, I use a Sharpie because it's a, it's a permanent marker and I go out on the outside of my wood, but I also go on the inside of my wood. Because sometimes when we cut out pieces, our pieces can be a little smaller than than you would normally you want it to be you want it to be so that you don't have to go around it and cut it and all that stuff so i use my sharpie to just go on the inner side of my wood just like this now i'm going to take and start painting i mean gluing on my pieces so you can pretty much put them on the way you want but make sure you have the right side so I'm going to take my finger I have a rag here and I am going to just put I guess you could say a generous amount on my wood piece and I'm going to go around like this you don't have to worry about that hole in that tag because that's going to be covered from your <clears throat> fabric so this is pretty much what you do and then you take your piece and you just place it really nice right on top okay now let me show you what you do next 
you want to take your rag or whatever you have and you just want to go around it smashing it onto your bead just like this okay you see how i'm cleaning all that up cleaning it up as i go around the bead okay just like that and you do this on both sides of your fabric now the one thing that i'm not going to do is i am not going to add any mod podge no mod podge now some people use a sealant but um when you use the aliens tacky glue the aliens tacky glue it, this will not come off this is the only way this to come off is if you pull it or rip it off okay but this is going to be permanent. That's the one thing that I love about this tacky glue, okay? It's awesome, y'all. So you're going to do that on both sides. I'm going to do my other side, and then I'm going to come back with the next step. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, I just wanted to come back really, really quick um, to tell y'all why I don't use Mod Podge. Whenever, I don't like using Mod Podge on fabric, this kind of Mod Podge on fabric. Um, you can if you want to, but I don't like, I, I just, I like the look of my earring just like this without the Mod Podge. And like I said in the B before, that once you put your Aileen's glue on there, you glue it down really, really good. I just like this look because it doesn't, to me, it doesn't have to have the shine and the gloss and all that, but I don't like how the, the airling, I mean, the, um, Marge Podge, uh, I don't like when it dries. I don't like the look that it gives the fabric. To me, it takes away from it. It's better. Marge Podge is awesome, but it's better served to me like on paper and on wood and stuff like that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get into our next step okay ladies and gentlemen so once your piece uh, dries this is what you are going to have turquoise is such a beautiful color y'all so this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place and you just got to figure out what side you want to put your piece on and we're going to glue this onto our earring Okay, so I'm going to take a, my E6000, just like this, giving it a generous amount. And I'm going to place it right here okay trying to make sure I got it even with the one that I have already done okay so that's that so the next thing that you do once you get that on is you want to take your jewel and you want to put your jewel on also now what you want to do is you want to let this dry before you put your post on so my jewel is going to go like a triangle and you want to try to just get it in the center of your earring. Okay. And you let that dry. And then you put your post on. And I'm going to show you what I have already done. Okay. These are the earrings. And all you do is you make sure you put your back on your post as well so once it once once it's in the stage of drying 
you won't have to um, add that on. If you put that on now, you won't have to worry about it. And all you do is you take your E6000 glue, you put it on your post, you flip it, and then you add it to the top of your piece, just like that. And then you'll have yourself a gorgeous, beautiful pair of African print post earrings. These are different. These are unique. And nobody will have these um, because you created them with your fabric and your beads. Okay, so this is another pretty much DIY jewelry tutorial for you to add to your list of um, tutorials, okay? This was fun. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed working with this. I, uh, I used to make all this stuff years ago, and then I kind of sort of... Uh, I stopped, but now I'm getting back into making some things that I used to make a long time ago. So with that being said, I want to thank those of you who have taken the time out to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it so very much. Uh, please make uh, plenty using all different types of fabrics, all different types of jewels. Um, you can also order, I know, some rhinestones and all that stuff. But this was just something that I got from Walmart, okay? So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to also thank you all for uh, taking the time out to watch this video. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up because that does help with my videos. And uh, a thumbs up if you are new. Please like and share and uh, subscribe to this channel. And also, when you subscribe, make sure you hit the all bell button so that when I upload more videos, you will definitely be notified. I want to thank y'all so very much for watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day. And until the next one, peace and blessings. See ya.